Diego de Velázquez uh, painted um, a very interesting um, portrait here where we see um, the monarch, Philip IV, in a, a non-official situation. He is depicted outdoors. He is not wearing crown or formal wear. Uh, in fact, he looks uh, quite at ease with his dog. There are a couple of themes running through uh, the painting. One would be the, the pastoral theme, or the bucolic theme, the theme of nature. Uh, the king would be someone associated with, with court, with uh, uh, an atmosphere of power and an ambience of uh, power and government. So by showing him in out, outdoors, in the forest or in, in the woods, um, we get a sense that uh, he's also first, that he's not just a monarch, and also we, uh, we get him um, displaced from his uh, usual surroundings. He's accompanied by uh, two interesting props in the, in the painting, one being the dog, uh, traditionally a symbol of loyalty, of steadfastness. So um, there would be or there could be a, a political reading in that. But uh, there's also a shotgun or a rifle, which um, was um, a technical invention much, much debated in 17th century Spain. Basically, um, um, the Spanish society was largely concerned with war, with waging wars abroad. So introducing technological means was um, a sign of the times, was unavoidable. But it also introduced um, a, a moral debate on uh, war as, on whether there was uh, a moral or a, a dignity in war, and whether technical advancement did away with that dignity or not. It wasn't just about the best warrior anymore, it was about the army that had more guns or more powder. So uh, showing uh, Philip IV with that shotgun um, is, um, casts a, short, a sort of uh, shadow uh, on his authority as a monarch. We can see perhaps a hint of that shadow or that uh, critique in the um, background uh, landscape, uh, the woods on the background and uh, the clouds, the clouds uh, on, on one of the corners of the painting. So all in all is an intriguing piece, um, a very fascinating portrait.